Well, as you can see, somebody just bought it with a prop and obviously got a fan club as well. Well, it's all about um, freestyle today, as opposed to Hillworth to Music. We have two divisions, Hillworth to Music and Freestyle. I don't want to delay the proceedings, but I just will tell you exactly what it's all about. On the freestyle, what you're going to see, you can do anything as far as moves are concerned. You're not constricted to doing so much heel work in the routine. It's any moves you like within the allowed range of moves, and it's all about putting it to music. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more while the judges are working out on this first dog. But we've got various countries competing, and have we got anybody here from Belgium? <laughs> well, the first competitor from Be is from Belgium. Would you welcome him, please, Jules O'Dwyer? <laughs> With her dog, Matisse. And um, it's a Border Collie, five years old. And she's going to be performed into an Oliver Twist medley by Lionel Bart. So, uh, Jules, it's over to you. Thank <laughs> you. 
round of applause. What a great routine. What a cracking start to our international freestyle competition. Well done, Jules and Matisse. Right, well, while the judges are deliberating on their scores, I'll just tell you that as soon as the judges' marks have been collected, before they come on the screen, we're going to move on to the next routine. We have got a lot of routines to get through in our allotted time. So we'll come back to the score for that after the next routine. But can I just say that the judges have a very strict criteria on marking. What we're doing is we, we will pick out our best routine based on how entertaining it is, how good we thought it was. And, and really, sometimes we think the, the best routine is one that we thoroughly enjoyed. But of course, there are technicalities. It's just like marking dancing on ice. They have the same problem. What's entertaining is perhaps not necessarily the routine that's best in their eyes as far as the technicalities are concerned. So don't be disappointed in any way as this competition progresses. If the routine you think is the most inspiring, the most entertaining, actually doesn't go into the lead because they are working to program content, accuracy and musical interpretation and they all have a bearing on the final results. Now we're going to move on to our next routine, if our judges are ready. And the next handler, is there anybody here from Norway? Now, is there anybody else going to pretend to be from Norway? And it's Marion Ace with Vicky. An Australian Shepherd, four years old, and he's going to be performing to The Boy Does Nothing by Alicia Dixon. I got a man with two left feet And when he dances not to the beat I really think that he should know That his rhythm's go, go, go I got a man with two left feet And when he dances not to the beat I really think that he should know That his rhythm's go, go, go Does he wash up?
give her a big round of applause, Marianne and Vicky from Norway. What a fabulous routine. I'll tell you folks, I think we're going to be in for a treat today. We're going to have some wonderful routines to enjoy. Anyway, we've got the scores now for Jules and her dog Matisse. And here they come, and it's very high. Now, we, as you see from the lines, you can see them all up on the screen. Going down, we've got content, accuracy, and interpretation of the three judges across. So for content, Michelle Dodson was 8.4, Richard Curtis, 8, and Kath Hardman, 7.9. Accuracy eight, nine, seven, five, and eight, three. Interpretation eight, eight, and seven, eight. So it's a very high score. There are no deductions. Deductions would probably come from barking or touching the dog or doing something um, inappropriate with a prop as far as training is concerned, because props are to be used as props and not as training aids. We then total the scores up and get the average score for the whole routine for the three judges. And we can give Jules a bit of a round of applause because she got 24.27. And I can tell you, going on the last two days, that's a jolly good score. So we're just waiting for the judges. This is another, it's a fabulous sport this, you know. And it's another one we started. Mary Ray started the actual sport back in 1990 when she did a demonstration. It's spread throughout the world. It's amazing throughout the world now. Anyway. Anybody here from Wales? Because we've got Melinda Kerr joining us and she's representing Wales. Come in, Melinda. With her working sheepdog, Chip. Chip's 10 years old. And she's performing to Send Me On My Way by Rusted Root. And I haven't got a clue who Rusted Root is, but the floor's over to you. I'm sure we're going to enjoy it.
Well done, Melinda. Great routine representing Wales. But we'll come back to your scores shortly because we've now got the scores for Marianne Az, representing Norway with Vicky, the Australian Shepherd, going up on the screen now for you to have a look at. Content, 7.4, 7.1, 7.2. That's a good score on content. Accuracy, 8.172 and 8.2. Another good score. And anything, don't forget anything above seven is really a good score. Seven, seven and two and seven and three for interpretation of the music. Giving her a total and, oh, there's some faults to be deducted there. 0.02 at the bottom of one judge. That's probably representing all the judges on that fault. 22.17 in total. She goes into second place on that. Give her a big round of applause. That was a very good routine. So we're just waiting now for the results from Melinda. The, all the judges' results are in. We can move on to the next handler. So, is there anyone here from the Netherlands? I think when I when it ends a country, you know, we need a few immigrants to these countries. So, is there anybody here from the Netherlands? Oh, lots of supporters. Would you welcome in, please, Esther Nementia with Jamie? Jamie's a Shetland Sheep Dog, seven years old. And again, I wish uh, perhaps I'd used an English piece of music, but it's La Veille Mel with, by Jan Tiersen. So uh, that's the music. So over to Esther and Jamie.
Well done, Esther and Jamie. What a great routine. Very, very entertaining. And a very smart outfit as well. She does say on her notes before coming in, I hope you all bought your earplugs. I think uh, we've learned that lesson. Just a little bit of bark in there. So, well done. We'll have to wait for the result down there. The judges will be deliberating, but we have got the result for Melinda Kerr, who went for Wales. Which are on the screen now. Content 6, 9, 7, 1 and 7, 1. Total of 21.1. Accuracy, high score for accuracy, 7.8, 7.2 and 7.7 overall, 22.7. And interpretation, 7.2, 7.4 and 7.2. There are no deductions, giving a total of 21.87. Let's give her a round of applause for Wales, Belinda. And that puts her in the third place. So we're just waiting now for the results for Esther from the Netherlands. The music is so important, and it is so important that the choreography is right. In fact, one of the hardest jobs, it's, it's difficult to understand, but the, probably one of the easier tasks is actually to train the tricks. It's putting them together with the music, which is one of the most difficult ones. Anyway, it's Switzerland next. Anybody in from Switzerland? Uh, everybody else, look at you cheer, because they're the wealthy people. They live in Switzerland. It's Claudia Moser. Give her a big round of applause on the way in. Claudia Moser with Tilly. <laughs> Darjeeling's Jewel, the name of the dog, the Kevin Cobb name. Fight your old border colleague. And she's performing to It's Raining Men. I think the clue might be in the umbrellas. Anyway, Claudia, it's over to you. The floor is yours.
a great fun routine. Well done, Claudia. Fast and Furious, great fun with some really good moves in it. Well done. I have to say, the boys all really enjoyed that routine behind the score table, but I don't know whether they're watching the dog or not. What a great routine. I will tell you a little tale while I'm just waiting for the judges to get together. We had to bring in some minimum dress requirements for, for the international especially, because um, I think it was last year or the year before, I think it might have been last year, when uh, we had a young lady come in from a foreign country in a very blingy outfit. I mean, it was really blingy. It was a lovely outfit. There just wasn't much of it. And we had a couple of uh, Kennel Club uh, General Committee members in the red seats over there in their senior years, and one of them had to be helped out afterwards. It was really a little bit difficult. Anyway, let's have a look at the scoring now for Esther. Esther from the Netherlands. It's up on the board now. Content 7 2, 6 8, and 7 3. Accuracy 7.2, 6.6, 6 and 6.8. And interpretation seven, seven, and seven point one. So the score in there was not bad. What was the big drop there was the penalties at the bottom. I'd better explain. In countries abroad, they're not necessarily marked down for barking in a routine. In this country, we mark down for barking. So she suffered really badly from barking there. And, and obviously, especially with the shelter having a shelter ourselves, I know what the problem is. You can't just turn the dog off. If it's allowed to bark, it's very difficult to stop it. So that's why the score is a little bit on the low side, and the routine was actually quite good. It's just the barking that's not the, the score down. So 17.7. Let's give Esther a round of applause. Well done, Esther. Good try. So our next competitor coming into the arena now is from Denmark, and it's Joanna Allenek with Soda. four-year-old border collie and um, she's performing to Disney's Cinderella mouse work by various artists. You're under starter's orders. Poor Cinderella. Every time she finds a minute, that's the time of day beginning. Cinderella, Cinderella.
such a surprise. Oh, how can I ever wait? Oh, thank you so much. What a great fun routine. Well done, Joanna. Joanna and Soda representing Denmark. And that's what it's all about, folks, having fun with your dog. Anyway, we're going to go to the results now for Claudia Moser, who performed last. And it's coming up on the screen now. And it's a good result. Content seven from Michelle, 6.8 from Richard, and seven from Kat Hardman. Then we've got accuracy, 696462. Interpretation, 7.47 7 and 7.7. 7. And then we've got deductions. I'm not sure what the deductions are, but uh, I only can tell from here on the, um, the barking ones. But you, you have to bear in mind, as I said, the judges are judging to a criteria. So total 20.23, and that must be into fourth place. So good try. So we're just waiting for the results now from Joanna, which will happen after the next dog. You couldn't force a dog to do what you see these dogs do, and it's very, very simple the way it's done. Virtually everyone in here is using clicker trains. You have to get the dog to want to do it. The old-fashioned pull and grub training has finished now. It's really the modern luring techniques that are used, and especially clicker training, and that's why the dogs do what they do, because you clicker train them to do it by lure and using food, and then you put the word to it, and then they'll do it at a distance, and they do it because you enjoy it. I'm sure you understand that. Now it looks like we've got a violin or uh, something in there, a guitar. Anyway, I'm sure we've all got relations or know someone in the country the next handler's coming from. She's had more than a difficult time. She's a top freestyler at home in her own country, but she didn't actually meet the dog she's using till Wednesday. She's had it till Wednesday to put the routine together. So would you give a big welcome? Anybody here know anyone in Australia? Here's Jill Houston with Ozzy. Oh, they call Red Andy, the five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog. And, of course, the tune's got to be, one of the tunes she's using has just got to be Waltzing Matilda and with Thank God I'm a Country Boy by the Bushwhackers and Lee Kernan. So, uh, Jill, over to you. Once a jolly swag he can find a pull a bomb Under the shade of a pool of And he sang as he watched and waited till he's fully boiled Come the waltzing Matilda with me Now up came the jumper to drink at the pull a bomb up jumped the swag, but then he grabbed him with glee And he sang as he shoved the jump back in his tucker bag You'll hum a waltzing Matilda with me Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda You'll hum a waltzing Matilda with me And he sang as he shoved the jump back in his tucker bag You'll hum a waltzing Matilda with me Scrub is kind of laid back, ain't much younger, ain't like me, cunt hack. Got a four wheel drive, then a red dust track. Thank God I'm a country boy. We're working on the land, never bother me. I'm a strong hard lad from a big country. Way out here is where I ever want to be. Thank God I'm a country boy. Spend all week long working in the sun. When I get a little time, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm a laid back, big working Australia. Thank God I'm a country boy. We're an old blue jeans and a jacky hat. Jump in the youth and a head in a town Get a little rough, get a little loud Thank God I'm a country boy Now we're all out, but we all mean well Everybody's got joke or young tip So sit around and say what the hell Thank God I'm a country boy Spend all week long working in the sun When I get a little time, when I have some fun I'm a laid back beer drinking Australia Thank God I'm a country boy The river flow. Welcome there if you ever want to go. Thank God I'm a country boy. Kicking back. 
back on a Sunday afternoon Sitting down in the shade, nothing much to do Boy, grab another beer and light the barbecue Bang out, I'm a country boy Spend all week long working in the sun When I get a little time, when I have some fun I'm a laid-back bit like an Australian Me. I'm a strong old lad from the big country Boy, Josh, way out here is where everyone want to be Thank God I'm a country boy Spend all week long working in the sun When I get a little time, gonna have some fun I'm a laid back kid drinking Australia Thank God I'm a country boy Give a big round of applause. Well done, Jill Houston. And Ozzy! Well, another different theme for a routine, and that's what you get people pick themes for their routine. Something straightforward dancing, like Strictly Come Dancing, others have got a theme, and that was a good theme there, as you'll see with others. Now we've got Joanna's results from Denmark. Content 7.1, Richard 7.1 as well, and 6.9. Pretty even the results from some of the judges. Accuracy 7, 2 and 7. A bit lower there from Kath Hardman on 6.6. .6. Interpretation 7.8 off Michelle, 7.3 off Richard, and 6.8 off Kath Hardman. There is a slight deduction there of 0.04, giving a total of 21.13 and into fourth place. And I can tell you at this stage that the first dog to run today, handled by Jules O'Dwyer for Belgium, is still in the lead. So I've been in the lead all the way through. Anyway, we're on. Next to go, we've got Heather Smith. And I'm, there's no country on it, but I'll prove Heather. Is Heather from Scotland by any chance? Oh, I think she might be. So, I think we're all ready now. And would you give a round of applause for Scotland? It's Heather Smith with Manny. Moonlight Magic Dancer, the Beardy Collie, four years old. And the routine is this town ain't big enough for both of us by Sparks. Shower, a 
What a great routine. Well done, Heather. I've had the pleasure of seeing that routine before, and it is quite stunning and so, so entertaining. But can I just remember, can you just remember that the judges are marking on technicalities, so we don't know what the judges are going to say, and they won't be swayed by us. They've, we've just given the enter entertainment factor vote. But a great routine. Anyway, now we've got the results for Jill Houston from Australia. On content, 6-1, 6, one, six, eight, and six four. Accuracy, that's a lot higher, 7-3-7 seven, and 8-8. And eight, eight. Interpretation, 7-2, seven, 7-2 two, seven, two, and 7-2, so good marks there. 21.33, and I'll just find out what number they got into. They got into fourth place. Well done, Jill. Judge is not quite ready, they're just making their final calculations and we're just getting the props out for the next routine. And, and as I said earlier, it's, it's all about getting the, these tricks to music. And it's not easy to training all the tricks, but certainly the choreography is absolute key to it. And if you go into Dancing on Ice, for instance, years and years ago, then in actual fact, they used to do a routine with music playing. And then this couple came along and changed the ice dancing completely called Torville and Dean. And now everyone was absolutely stunned with their first routine because it actually had the choreography in it. And that changed the ice dancing for good. Then all of a sudden choreography became the major part of it because there's so many of them could do the, the uh, pieces and the moves in it. And that's exactly what's happening here. Anyway, we're on to... Anybody here from Germany? We've got Carmen Schmidt performing with Gimli. It's a Cairn Terrier, six years old. And they're performing too in the Hall of the Mountain King House Mix by Herbert von Kellerjohn. So Carmen and Gimli, you're uh, under starter's orders.
what a great routine. And a really different ending. Well done, Carmen and Gimli. Go on then, how many had the anchor sheaves out? How many had a tear in their eyes then? Oh my gosh. I must look the other way, it's not doing my blood pressure any good. Anyway, we've got the results now for Heather Smith. Now that was a stunning routine. Here it is. 8.7 content, 8 and 8.9, really high. Accuracy 897571. Interpretation 828188. 24.7, and guess what? It's got in the lead. What a great routine that was. Now I'm looking forward to the next one, I can tell you. Anyway, that's what you get. You get a variety of themes, and that was a, a super theme that the last hand ran. Come from Germany, that was a really super theme. Just something so totally different. And that's what a lot of the handlers do. I mean, you, you know, we've had um, themes from Gladiator, we've had Mary Ray's done lots of themes, you know, and she'll be performing again on Sunday night, of course. And don't forget that everything in this arena is going out live every day on YouTube. And if you type in YouTube, on YouTube, if you type in YouTube slash Crofts, it'll bring you up to the site. And then everything in here is going out absolutely live. In fact, they're watching it all over the world as we speak. And I think they've had loads of uh, messages back from Australia with how wonderful it is. So everywhere in the world watching us right now. Anyway, it's South Africa in the ring next. And I'm going to say this carefully. This is Shuan. Kalangji Hans with Scarlet, and uh, the full name of it is Boulevard Desert Rose, the dog, and it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. What great this is for the Staffies. It's six years old, and she's performing to Samba de, de Janeiro, Brazil, by Bellini. So, Shuan, ready when you are.
a great fun routine. Absolutely super. And, and we all have to accept that some breeds are not as easy to try as others, and that's with a staffy. So really well done. And the dog and yourself really enjoyed it. We enjoyed watching it. Great routine. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the judges mark. That's certainly entertainment value. It's got a very high mark. Now we're on the results for Carmen Schmidt from Germany. With a dog which, looked, which we thought had passed away. There you go, content. 6.4, 6.4 and 5.2. Accuracy 7.8, 6.6 seven, six and 7.7. Seven. Interpretation 7.6, seven, 7.1. Seven seven, so they like the interpretation well enough. 20.6 overall. Into seventh place. Give a round of applause. Well done, Carmen. So we're just going to be now waiting for the results for South Africa after the next dog. We've still got a few to go, though. And don't forget, if you can't... If you'd like to watch what's on TV, it's on More 4 every night from 6.30 to 9, which includes some live, some interviews, and catch up on what's gone on during the day. That's on More 4, and that's available on Virgin, Sky, and on Freeview. And I think it's on Channel 4 OD, which is their catch-up service as well. So there's lots of ways to watch happening in the arena. Right, we're ready for our next routine now. Would you like to welcome in anybody here from Sweden? From Sweden, Lena Patterson with Zing. And Zing is nine years old today, and this is a Pumi. Very popular in dog agility Pumis. Once upon a time in Africa is the uh, record she's performing to by Hans Zimmer. So, Lena and Zing. Oh, I thought she decided to go. Just forgotten part of her props. There you go, when you're ready, Lena.
They go lead the Patterson from Sweden with Zing. Very entertaining and some very, very neat tricks in there, the music. Some really different moves in there. So we'll see what the judges make of that. Now, South Africa. Susan from South Africa with Scarlett. And content, 8.7 off Michelle, 6.8 off Richard, and 7 off Kath Ardman. Bit of an up and down the judges' opinions, but that's what they're judging for. Accuracy, 7.8, 6.6 off Richard, and 5.3 off Kath Ardman. Interpretation, 8.1. 7.1 and 7.2. There are some deductions at the bottom, giving a total of 3.8 on deductions. Giving a total score of 20.27, and she's into eighth place. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> nice dog, very nice stuff as she was working there. So we like that. Right, I think we're almost ready. They can't repeat the, the, the moves in a routine either. They'll get down marks for repetition. And, you know, there's so many ways to lose marks and not actually pick up full marks for any routine. Now, it appears we have a couple of small props in the arena now. And... Um, is there anybody here from England? <laughs> well, we've got young Sue Betridge coming in with Katie. Get out by Katie, he's a chemical name, four-year-old border collie. And we can all get behind the music. One More Angel in Heaven by Richard Schwenk.
Well done, Sue. Great routine, that. Really good. That's Sue Bettridge and Katie performing for England. So we'll be coming back as with the others to get our results shortly. Now we have the results for Lena Patterson with Zing, the Pumi for Sweden. And content 7, 6, 7, 9, and 7.2. Good score for content. Likewise for accuracy, 71737. Interpretation, we've got an 8 there, and nearly 8 to 7.9, and a 7. Nothing to deduct, giving a total of 22.33. And Sweden goes into third place. Well done, Sweden. If you would like to know anything about Heal Work to Music or Freestyle, because don't, don't forget, we, we call it Heal Work to Music as a generic name, but within it there are two divisions. And as I said earlier, in the Heal Work to Music division, two thirds of the routine has to be based on heel work. In the front, behind, right side and left side, with the dog sort of parallel with the, with the handler's um, body at all times, not too far away. And the head parallel with the um, knee, knee sort of area, if you like. And in, in freestyle, they can put any moves in they like and then choreograph them to music. But choreography and the music is the key. And that's one of the most difficult things to, to get together. Right, the next hand up. Is there anybody in from the Czech Republic? Just one or two. It's Van der Gregova with Brandy. And it's an Australian Shepherd, five years old. And the music she uses in the Hall of the Mountain King and also Sing, Sing, Sing and then Police Academy soundtrack. So she's got a mixture, it's a cut track, the Halley Orchestra, Benny Goodman and the Robert Folk and Orchestra. So Vanda, it's over to you. Thank you. 
Come on, give a big round of applause. Well done, Van Dijk. Great routine with Brandy. So entertaining and a good choice of music. As I said, music can be the key to any routine. If it's something you know, the, the West End musicals have been so popular with the uh, music. What have we got here? I think we're in for a bit of a treat here, folks. Certainly something a little bit different. But first we go to, ignore that, pretend you haven't seen it, because first we're going to go to the results for Sue Betridge for England. This is, this is the results. Coming up on screen now. 8.2, 8 and 8.8 .8 on content. Accuracy, 7, 6, 7, 5 and 8, 1. Interpretation, 8.4, 8 and 9.1. That was the first nine we've had. 24.57 is the result. Into second place she goes. So that's a really good result in England. I think that must be Scotland still in first place. Now, we're going to have something very special for you in a moment. We're going to have a routine from a young man who in actual fact, has been dog dancing to, to, since 2004, became world freestyle champion in Denmark in 2010, and European champion in Denmark in 2011. I don't think there was a world championship in 2011, so there is going to be another world championship here in the world show in Austria, I believe. And they competed in agility in 2010. So he's one of the experts in Europe, and it looks like we're going to have a very, very entertaining routine. Makes me nervous just to look down there, heaven's sake. Feel like I'm in Rome. Let's have a big welcome for the competitor from France, the Thomas Theory. With Speedo, nine-year-old border collie. And you may have guessed what the music is, it's Gladiator.
What a great routine. Well done, Theory. Theory Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Great routine, very entertaining. And obviously with a spectacular theme to it. But the question is, what will the judges think? There was a little bit of marking there, and the judges are marking again, I have to say, by a slightly different criteria. But what, what, what we can have a look at, though, is the results from that stunning routine we had from the Czech Republic. And that's coming up on the screen now, and oh dear, that's a good result as well. Content nine, this is for Vanda from the Czech Republic. Content nine. That's our second nine, 8.7 from Richard and 7.1 from Kath Hardman, 24.8. Accuracy, 9.2 from Michelle, 8.1 from Richard, 7.6 from Kath Hardman. Interpretation, 8.9 from Michelle, 8.4 from Richard and 6.8 from Kath Hardman. That gives a total of 24.6 and into second place. Well done, Vanda. It was really a very, very good routine, that. And well deserved that second place. But of course, we don't know how Theory Thomas is going to do with his routine yet. We're still waiting for that result. As our judges, I think, on with their marking for it. Very, very difficult. To, you have to make a split second decision with so many aspects to mark of a routine. Hello, looks like someone's leaving home at the moment in the arena. So the next competitor is from the Slovak Republic. Anybody in? It's Helen Pulvajova. Helen Pulvajova. And the dog's called Dream. And it's a seven-year-old border collie. And the music she's using is called Home and it's by the Edward Sharp and Magnetic Peros. So, Helena, a dream. The floor is yours.
Well done to Helena and Dream. A very, another very, very entertaining routine. And we'll be seeing her in a moment or two for the presentation of awards. Well, that was the last um, routine in this competition. And I'm going to give you the results now to the French competitor, followed very quickly by the results for that last one who's been in. It would be good if you could keep your places, folks. These handlers have travelled from a long way away and we're going to have the presentation of awards almost immediately, followed by some very, very exciting dog agility. Anyway, we've got the results now for France. Theory Thomas. And I think there was a few deductions there for Barkin, so it would have been actually wiping the floor with everyone but there are some deductions but nonetheless it's a really high score content 919 and 87 from Kath Ardman accuracy for Michelle 93 Richard 8.5 and Kath 8.8 .8. interpretation 8.6 8.7 8.2 giving a total of 24.73 We'll tell you who's won it in just a couple of moments because in actual fact we're going to have the presentation as soon as we've got these results in, which are just coming in now. Right, we've got the result now for the Slovak Republic with Helena and Dream. Just coming up on screen now, folks. 7.1 for content, 7.2 of Richard, 6.2 of Cap. Accuracy, 8.3, 7.3 and 7.1. Interpretation, 7.4, 7.4 and 7.5. Giving a total of 21.83. And into ninth place. So, we just get the uh, handlers lined up, ready for the presentation. We're just waiting for one of the handlers now for the... Um, We're still just missing the Belgium handler, it appears, for the presentation. Right, would you like to welcome in all the handlers, it's presentation time, folks. Well, what a great lineup of people we've got here. Absolutely super. All the stunning costumes. And I have to say, it's been one of the best international finals we've had. It's been really, really a great performance. Congratulations to you all, no matter what places you had. We've had three people who've had the worst job in the world, really, in some ways, and in some ways, the best job in the world, because they've had a ringside seat. 
but they've had to judge this and it is so, so difficult to get it right with so many facets of a routine to look at. And the Kennel Club would like to give a big thank you to our three judges, but to join me, a little keepsake for them, and for uh, Kath Hardman. Michelle Dodson and Richard Curtis being presented with a little keepsake from Mr. Steve Crossford, who's a member of the General Committee of the Kennel Club and he's the, uh, the manager of this whole area for the show. Thank you, judges, for all your hard work. Now the results will be presented in reverse order by our judges. We seem to have a result. We seem to just keep, keep you. Uh... This is exciting because I'll tell you, the winners don't know who won yet. Because we had a bit of a score, um, a bit of a. Um, We had a tie in some ways, and there's a specific formula to work out a tie because you take a specific mark out of the three sections, and that actually identifies which handler is actually got the best results. So we'll come to that at the end. So in 15th place on seven, and every we don't normally go with results down this low, but it is important that all the handlers coming from a raw take home a commemorative rosette for the event. So in 15th place, we've got Esther for the Netherlands. In 14th place, a great routine for Switzerland from Claudia Moser. In 13th place for South Africa, Susan Gajons. Well done with her staffing and riding the surfboard. In 12th place for Germany, it was Carmen Schmidt with the dying dog. In 11th place, representing Denmark, we've got Joanna Allenek. In 10th place, and I'm sure she'll be really pleased with this, is Jill Houston from Australia. In ninth place, representing the Slovak Republic, is Helena Potjavova. 21.83 she achieved. In eighth place, representing Wales, is Melinda Kerr. 21.87, well done, Melinda. In seventh place, with 22.17 marks, representing Norway, Marianas. In sixth place, representing Sweden, Carolina, Lina. 22.33. In fifth place on 24.27, she ran first and did a super routine representing Belgium, Jules O'Dwyer. In fourth place with a great routine again, 24.57, Sue Betridge for England. Now we're into the crystal, the engraved crystal trophies. In third place with 24.6, representing the Czech Republic, it's Van de Gregova. <laughs> now, I just I can't quite read the writing here because I don't know who's come first and who's come second. 
So in second place, representing Scotland, it was Heather Smith. And the winner of the 2012 International Freestyle Final, it was Thierry Thomas from France. <laughs> and he well done, Thierry. And in actual fact, Thierry will be performing this routine this evening during the evening performance in this ring, and uh, you'll be told about it uh, later, so we will be seeing him again. Anyway, we're just going to collect the crystal so he doesn't get damaged on the way out. They probably think they're not going to get him back for the art. Let's give him a big round of applause now as, they, as we take them on their lap of honour.